The towers, two feet front tape, you know? That was my hero growing up, you know? So, this is unbelievable. I'm the happiest guy in Hayward right now. Not too happy I won't be able to go to the Wild Duck for the next two nights after that. I certainly was banking on that, but you know, final on Sunday, I think that's a little bit better. So, yeah, I'll have to go to the beer halls in Munich and afterwards, after European Championship. So, dream come true, man. Never would have believed it. I literally was talking to my girlfriend Morgan like an hour before this, and I told her, I'm like, I'm not starting. I'm a DNS today. Like, my back felt so bad. Everything was tight. I was like, scared out of my mind running on this stage and getting my ass handed to me it's so scary to be on that starting line with these guys and like i just thought to myself like i'm gonna get spit out the back two laps in like i don't i don't have what it takes you know and it's crazy the roller coaster the sport can like throw at you just just sometimes like the darkest thoughts and darkest moments just pop up you know and uh my girlfriend was just like you have one chance at running at hayward tore your freaking calf last year at German Champs and couldn't run Tokyo, you better get on that track and give it your all. I don't care what happens. If you break your freaking back, you're getting on that track. And I gave myself a chance and I just stayed relaxed and World Championship final, man. Does this feel like redemption for last oh, year? Totally, man. Dude, my Adidas contract is up after this year, you know? Like, I totally thought I was going to be done with this sport completely. I'm reaching out to people asking like, hey, like, I need to get insurance, you know, like I need to have all these things that normal people get, but for some reason, professional runners that put their body out on the line every day, pushing their body to the limits, don't have it. So it's like one of those things where I'm like, I gotta pay the bills. I plan to do this for, for you know, one cycle maybe, you know what I mean? Um, and now all of a sudden, World Championship final, I think I got a few years left in this sport. So hope Adidas gives me another chance. Spencer, if you're watching this, please, please let me keep running. So, yeah. Do you think that would make the difference between being re-signed and not making a final of the championships? Man, so much goes into it, you know? Like, I think a lot of it is just luck, you know? Like, if you're running well at the right time when they have the money, like I know. Um, I remember when I first was talking to Ray and before I signed with him, he was telling me, I remember I ran like 13.29 back when that was like really good. Like before Super Spikes and stuff, and only a few guys went to sub 13.30 every year. And uh, he was like, do it again. You know, now we're gonna go run a mile fast, you know? You gotta prove yourself again and again and again and again. Like one race will never be enough for these um, people that give out the contracts. It's how you represent yourself, how you represent your brand, what you're doing on social media, everything gets thrown into that pot. So you just gotta pour your heart into it. And you know, everyone in this sport has a timeline. I remember Kyle Merber, one of my first friends on the circuit told me in Lubin, he was like, you're a veteran in this sport if you sign your second contract, you know? Then you're considered a vet. So I hope I can be a veteran next year. Yeah. Uh, is the mustache an homage to Prefontaine or is that oh, just your first bro, the hair, the mustache. I could quote that whole movie, man. How'd you get here so fast? Running through the cemetery, you know? I don't want to run with those pussies in Ulu, you know? I know, I, I know the whole thing. I, I, I can quote that whole movie, man. So I'm such a fanboy in this sport, you know? I've been watching City of Smag live. I was on your Let's Run live, you know what I mean? I saw you call out. Um, you're saying both record going down, you know, I follow it all. I'm constantly tuned into everything. So I love this sport and to be able to get to actually be a part of it. I see what new gen is doing every day and I'm like, I want to be doing that. I want to be doing cool shit. I literally had like in my presentation for Tim Man, uh, track town pizza, Tim Man elite collab. And now they freaking did it before me. So that pissed me off. So it's so cool to see everyone doing such cool things in sport now, and I appreciate everything you guys do because you keep us going, man. If you guys weren't here, we wouldn't be here. So, yeah, I love, how, guys. How'd the back feel in the race? It feels really shitty right now, I'm going to be honest. So, going to have to have a little Hayward magic go through there. I got it all taped up right here. So, hopefully, uh, I'll keep things together for the final. I've never ran a race two days with a rest, so I'm sure I'm, sure I'm going to get my ass kicked, but, you know, I got a little bit more running in my heart and in my head, so I'm just gonna put myself out there, have a big smile on my face, and I'm just gonna give it my all, man. It's all you can ever ask for, you know? This is already way more than I could ever dreamed of, so I'm the only German in the final, so gotta represent and show those young kids that Germans can do a bit of running too. Anything to say to the German fans at home? We're gonna see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah bestimmt. Guck mal, alle die Jungen und Mädchen da. Lauf mit deiner Herz und es kommt immer. Lauf mit deiner Kopf. Uber so viel in deinem Kopf zu essen und dann die Beine kann ein bisschen mehr geben. So, liebe du alle, Oma, Opa, Onkel, Burkhardt, Tante Anne, 
ihr kommt zu Munich später und ich drücke dir so viel. So, ciao. Alright, thank you. Congratulations.